What's up guys, Jamie here, and this is my first video back. I mean, I did another video, which is in the description, along with all my social media links, so you should like and follow. And also, after this video, go watch that video to give me suggestions, and I'm going to talk about what videos that I'm going to be making on that video. So this is my actual first video being back, of actually making something. By the way, I'm sorry if the quality on this camera is not that great, I'm going to get a new one soon. So I'm going to be doing the Walking Dead question tag, and if you are not caught up with the Walking Dead, do not watch, I repeat, do not watch because I'm going to be talking about the latest episode, which was the mid-season finale episode, unless you're watching it after February 9th, which is seven freaking days away, seven, so excited, my feels, oh my gosh, but anyway, on to the question tag, are you okay? No, my feels, I, I'm really not okay, I, no, but seriously, no, I'm not okay, especially after last episode, I had mixed emotions, and I was torn, and I was crying, and I was happy, but I was sad, but I was bipolar, but I was having anxiety, but I was having heart attacks, this is what we fans deal with when watching the show, you have all these emotions, and it's freaking amazing, so if you're not watching The Walking Dead, you should definitely do it with, you probably already clicked but no, no, I'm not okay. How do you feel about the question line? Are you okay? Ow! My favorite weapon to kill walkers. If you don't know what walkers are, those are zombies. But, anyways, I would have to say Daryl Dixon's crossbow or Michonne's. I would not be able to use Daryl's crossbow because I wouldn't know how to use it, and I'm pretty sure the only person who could possibly use it is Daryl because he's badass. And it would take me too long to get the arrows and put on the arrows, and I could just take out my sword and go with it. So, Daryl's is cool, but I would probably be able to use the sword. It's easier. And it's quicker, and you don't have to pull the arrows out. But Daryl's still more badass than him. So. How many of your favorite characters are dead. I would only have to say a few because my main, main favorite characters are all alive, although Glenn almost died, which literally almost made me cry. Almost. I was on the verge of tears. And, oof, my heart was racing, and I was just like, come on, Glenn, you can't die. Don't die on me. But, anyways, probably only a couple. I would have to say, uh, probably Herschel, I has to be probably the saddest death, which I'm going to add that question to this answer. Favorite villain. My favorite villain would have to be Merle. And there's not really any characters that are both. I mean, he's the kind of villain that everyone loves. It's either good or there's just straight bad, like the governor. And Merle was kind of just favorite season. I don't really have a favorite season, but I'm just going to go with the first season because I like being introduced to all the characters, and everyone's still together, and if I were to go back to season one, I love seeing everyone again, although not every single person is there, but I like seeing all the old characters, and, you know, Shane and everyone, and oh, that reminds me to the other question about how many of my favorite characters are, probably Shane, I miss too, I miss a lot of the characters, I miss everyone being together. Stuff or things? Stuff. Favorite location? The prison. I didn't really have much of a location through, throughout uh, some of, for like season one and stuff. They were like at a camp and then um, they were at the CDC and season two and at Herschel's farm. But I would have to say the prison or maybe even the farm. Because everyone was together. We still together anyway. Who do you ship? I ship Rickle. Like, I don't do the shipping thing, but like, I freaking ship Rickle hard. And I never say things like that. I don't really normally do the, I ship this person and the whole couple-y thing, but I ship Rickle's bromance. Like, Rick Grimes and Daryl ship it. I definitely love their bromance. I love Norman Reedus and Andrew Lincoln's romance. As 
absolutely freaking adorable. I fangirl. I can't. Rickle. Um, I mean, I ship YouTubers and stuff, but I don't really like any of the couples, to be honest. I mean, Maggie and Glenn is cute, I guess, but I don't know. There's not really many couples in the show. And I didn't like Lori, although it was sad when she died. But she was cute. But sh I ship Rickle. Ship Rickle. The Rickle. Black character with most potential before they died. I would have to say Oscar because he added power to the group and he was tough and when the group needed it the most he was there but then you know he ended up dying and the group in their time of needing more power you know Sea Dog and Shane wasn't there and a lot of their power was either you know sick or, or dead or split up or whatever because they would have lost a lot of people. Uh, Oscar added to that and he probably could have been very useful and tough to the group if he didn't die. Worst portrayal of a female character. Uh, does this count as being the most annoying? Because probably Lori, she didn't really have any too bad at moments. Like, she really didn't, to be honest. Like, what, crashing her car and having a baby and just being annoying? But um, I would have to say Andrea because she had some badass moments she could have, if she didn't have her annoying and stupid moments, she could have been a pretty badass character, murdering zombies and stuff, and or killing walkers. And I mean, I'm probably the not the only person that had this reaction, but when you were watching her try to get out of a stupid chair from the governor's little torture chamber, and you were just, like, screaming at your TV, and, um, like, oh my gosh, Andrea, it doesn't take that hard to have the stupid pliers, and you're just ready to pull your hair out, and I'm pretty sure I was not the only one that was feeling like right, because I was getting really frustrated at her. So that answers my question, probably Andrea, because she could have been really badass. And she did have her moments, which kind of sucked how she went out. Worst plot line. I don't think there's exactly a bad plot line, just um, some things dragged out way too much. So I would have to say, um, looking for Sophia. And by the way, I do like Sophia's favorite character. I'm gonna change it to characters. Rick and Daryl are my two top favorite people out of anyone in the show. I also really like Carol. She's my favorite female character. And I also really like Michonne. And I like Glenn and Herschel. Coolest survival tip that you picked up. Now, this is not really, a tip, but you can actually learn a lot from the show, and if for you, whatever reason, you would be in a walker apocalypse, or you would have to use survival mode, not in Minecraft, but in real life, if you were, for some reason, stranded somewhere, or you were in a natural disaster, you could actually learn a lot from the show and actually use it in real life. Some stuff that I would never know that you could possibly do. So, some of my survival tips that I picked up is God is not always the thing to go to. I mean, I assume that the gun was always the thing to go to, but it attracts more walkers, and you could pretty much use anything as a weapon, like this water bottle, my phone, my feet, um, those two bottles right there that you can't see, my uh, iPod that's over here, uh, that cord down there, you could strangle it with doing it Michonne style. over there, I can smash the head on the TV, I can maybe break that with a glass bottle, but those are all the questions from the tag, so I'm going to leave those questions down below, so if you want to answer that, thumbs up if you love The Walking Dead, subscribe if you're not already, and read the description, and yeah, so we can talk about the questions below, uh, what do you think of the show, and I will see you later, bye!